Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Tower Tactics Liberation. Great news. The ever-changing deck got changed and buffed. We suggested it go from 15 cards down to 10 and you get a random trinket. It's better than that. It, it did go down to 12 instead of 10, but you get a random trinket and all of the base stats have been improved. Most notably, this deck starts with three mana now. This may be a massive buff. Uh, we shall see. I don't know what we got for stats. We got uh, plus 20% uh, money generation. Got a little bit of armor penetration. Not bad. A little bit of crit. Okay. Not, not, not bad at all. And we also only have 12 cards, which is, you may think, is it more cards better? No, not in a deck builder. We want to make sure we have a cleaner, thinner deck. Holy crap, we definitely don't need two omniscience oh, cards. Unless I could find some way... Is there any way I could make that cheap enough? Beam cannon! Two beam cannons and two omniscience. I could not think of a combination that is less synergistic. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll see what we can do with that. We have a little bit of crit chance. We obviously could go Virtuoso there. Bullseye is all right. Electric Beam is nice. Blizzard I have not ever used. We got some work to do. We got some work to do. Let's get a random card. What do we get? We got Dark Reckoning. Destroy level three or lower enemies. I'm going to get rid of one Omniscience. I can't imagine a world where I can possibly afford that cast. Uh, spike Thrower. Don't mind if I do. Three waves. We don't need to worry about anything. We're, we're, we're going to be fine. Kind of want to cast Blizzard just to see it in action, but we really don't need to yet. Oh, that's right. We got to... Uh, there's also new max game speed at 3x. Uh, do we want to put this down? Gain one mana less each round stuns enemies. Let's just let's just see this in action here. Maybe it's good. Maybe beam cannon is uh, is incredible. The thing is, if all of our towers cost zero, we could make something happen with that, where we could have very expensive spells and stuff. Because, I mean, like, because it wouldn't matter. Like, if we don't use them for towers, then who cares? You know, that wouldn't be too bad at all. All right, boy. Guardian Angel. We have 13 max health and one regen, which is actually quite good. Uh, we have Sweet Vengeance that already has Martyr. Do I see myself being able to use it? I don't know. That's a that's a hefty situation there. Like Martyr, of course, if you don't know, whenever you take damage, it makes this card cost less. Uh, but it resets each turn. Oh, we also, we didn't even look at this. Ionized Field, reduce the speed of enemies by 10%. That's nice. Enemies deal one less damage to you down to a minimum of one. I... I'm kind of like we go with Blinding Light or nothing here. And I'm going to go with Blinding Light because we don't have any way to uncloak enemies at the moment. Random stat, armor penetration, good. I feel like we probably want to go for a little removal, right? Right? Can we make... I don't know if we can use... Like, I think omnisci Omniscience is probably a trap. There's a maybe a world where we could play Sweet Vengeance in a run, though. Like, we could get it down to zero. Force C can probably go as well if we we're rocking Beam Cannon. I don't really know how we're going to make that happen. I, I think we can um, I think we can remove the other omniscience. I I don't really see a world where that's gonna happen. Add a card. We might. <laughs> oh, omniscience! <laughs> Blood visions is tempting. At the start of your next turn, draw cards until your hand is full and martyr. That that is very tempting. Because again, because of martyr. It's a four-cost card with Martyr, which is more interesting. Okay. Holy moly, look at all this removal. What what are we going to do with this? I think we're, we're going to ditch 4C. We're going to have the Martyr card. We have, we have no money. That was a perfect, perfect purchase. 
Don't even want to look at that stuff. I don't want to know what I can't get. Okay, a couple beam cannons. We're not going to make any extra moony. Okay, come on, man. Hey, th these are not bad. These are not bad. Spike thrower. Do we do we get econ? Does this use spell mana? That does not use spell mana. Okay. I mean, I suppose it makes some sense. We good here? We're good here. Virtuoso, blood visions. Okay. This is sketchy. I think we blizzard here. Let it rock. All right. Good. Beam cannon. Also, this is probably... That's that's going to be better. We have bullseye. Which should work quite well for us, too. I'm not too worried about this. I'm not too worried about... Okay. <laughs> Don't make me eat my words. Dark Reckoning. Ah, just hit me with a Virtuoso, man. This should be fine. It's a, it's a little tight. It's a little tight. Whoop. Whoop. Okay. But I'm, I'm kind of digging this low-cost vibe. It's kind of nice. We're going to need to get some things to uh, to work with it, like a... Uh, wait, oh, didn't Ezna get buffed? Yeah, Ezna got buffed. You draw an extra card next turn when you cast it. Now, I forgot. God, that's such a nice buff. What a nice get. Another bullseye. We have so much mana. Sure, we'll draw until we get full next time. I don't think I needed a blizzard there, but... I also don't need to really worry here. Throw out another beam cannon. Yeah, I mean, just drawing a bunch of cards when you have zero cost like this is really good. Do we need electric beam? Nope. As enough just to draw an extra card. Thanks, man. Virtuoso. Okay. Bye, nerd. All right, I like this. Okay, so we have armor and magic penetration. Premonition. Sure. I'll take premonition. It's a, it's a zero cost. We might be, might be able to make it work. Might be able to make it work. If there was ever a run where I was saying econ was for the birds, I mean, like, how the hell do we even econ with this right now? It's very strange. Can we handle this? It should be stagmented enough, or segmented enough. <laughs> Staggered enough is probably the word I meant to say. <laughs> it's not st st it's stagmented. We in there? We in there? We got some econ going. I guess we can do it. More likely than you may think. Econing with beam cannon. What a what a weird start here. Don't want to stun until they're gonna be in the radius. That should be good. Just as no when we don't don't see anything that can handle it. Alright, 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 alright. This ain't bad. Oh my god, we could sweet vengeance. Could sweet vengeance at at full cost. Oh god, wait. Why did it why was it so bad? Oh. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, alright. We need to find a way to take damage via a card. Uh I'm gonna say no. I don't wanna bloat. Max health upgrade. I would consider two beam cannons a pretty good start. I'm actually, I'm digging the towers. I'm digging them. 
Do I take the L? To get Blinding Light out there? No. Again, we have one regen. Okay. Dark Reckoning destroys level 3 or lower enemies. This should be fine. Okay, now we can definitely Blinding Light. We don't have to worry about invisible enemies. Premonition. Virtuoso. This is working. We've got, like, a clean little thing here. It's, su like, surprisingly powerful. I think that we've rolled some nice stats, too. Like, we have to keep that in mind. Ah, let's just do it. You got it? Okay, full hand. Yeah, that card is so juicy when you have a bunch of zero costs. That's really, really nice. If we take a little bit of damage, we can cast it every turn. I think that Blood Visions is the way to go. We just need to get... I can't remember what that card is. You take three damage, and then you heal three damage. That card would be huge for us. I don't know if we'll ever get Sweet Vengeance to work. I don't know that we'll ever get that to work, though. It's kind of expensive. Barricade could be fun. And by fun, I mean it could help make Blood Visions work without being so dangerous. But I'm going to say nah. We're speedrunning this. Hmm. Nice. For four, spike thrower. Hoping we can just rock this. Virtuoso is just good. All right. And now we can drop down all this. All right. Clean. The flowchart today. It's just so cut and dry. And I actually kind of dig it today. <laughs> I, I dig the cut and dry. And also, I do appreciate the 3x speed. And I appreciate that it's not any higher. Get Blinding Light down. I don't need the Blood Visions. Dang, man! Premonition. I mean, I might as well... Try. At this point, there's really no reason to do anything. Okay. Oh, oh, that was a little sketchy for a sec. Scrap. Okay. 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 This run is getting nutty. Scrap recycler. What happens when none of your towers cost anything? This is the story of a family that has zero cost towers. Uh, yeah. Blizzard, if we gotta, I think we gotta. Ooh, is it even going to work? Nice. Okay, because we can stay at four that way. Blinding light. We got electric beam if we so choose. Oh. That was necessary, for sure. Beam cannon. Virtuoso. Virtuoso is like... That's our, our anchor, I guess, right now for when we really just truly need help. <laughs> Bullseye. Cast Esna. Cast Esna. I, yeah, zero cost tower decks might be kind of borkin'. They might be a little borkin'. Dark Reckoning. Okay. Um. Is there an argument to BF Rifle today? I. It's exact opposite of what we're doing so far. That does not mean it's bad. But it also might mean it's bad. Let's go fight the boss. Ooh, not the not the start I wanted.
I think this works better than it looks like it would. Does he fire here? Yeah, he should fire the, across the corner, even though he might not fire across that corner. Premonition. All right, we should be fine. Yeah, I do want to see that in action. The scrap recycler. Beam. Beam. We can blood visions. Do we blood visions get zero costs? Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, we got less than I thought we would. We have blinding light. I think that's a must cast. Premonition. As the, ah, keep on not it's breaking my brain because that's a new change to Esna okay now we can definitely hit around all the corners there you better believe it electric beam nice if we need should not need though correct spike thrower scrap recycler virtuosaur all right Man! Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say, uh, man, I don't know if I'm gonna take damage today, he says. We will, right? Like, we have to. But dang, the, conceptually, this build is going. Econing, even though I have beam cannon. I, you know, I didn't think it would happen. But I, you know what? Maybe I love beam cannon now. Maybe beam cannon is good. I'm not being held hostage. Hey. He almost got around a little bit. Bullseye. Sweet Vengeance has no place here it's just it ain't doing its thing level 3 beam cannon is it good okay another level 2 virtuoso A bullseye blood visions I think I think it's a direct improvement. I'm I'm not positive. Probably should scrap recycle less at this point. Virtuoso more. Safer for electric beam if we need it. As the They're getting close to getting close to getting past me. <laughs> kind of. All right, I think we're gonna hit some. Ooh, that man can't move. Oh, uh, I was hoping we would get um, our level three spike thrower. We're so close. We were so close. It's okay. We got dark reckoning. give two trinkets could be good draw one more card each round your max hand size is now six that actually directly harms us quite highly spell mana up by how much three extra we could start with four mana we could play we could play blood visions on turn one Draw cards until you have three cards in your hand to spell. Uh, that could be good later. Down Shaper sounds interesting, but probably not right now. I'm kind of looking for maybe that tenacity thing. All right. Not right now. New map. 
new map. Man, I wish this used spell mana. Can I analyze this? Oh, wait. It, like, loops all the way around there? That's... Wait. That's nice. Seems like a nice, easier map. That's nice. I know I've said that too many times, but it is. Just sue me, okay? Sue me, I'm happy about it. The game needed more maps. Oh, that was a close one. Premonition. Uh, let's do Blood Visions, actually. Okay. Could have Dark Reckoning did 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 it. Okay. I like this map. I like it a lot. Okay, if we get anything that can, like, re restore spell mana over time now, that'd be awesome. Okay. Blood Visions, because zero costs are where it's at. Kind of makes Ezna redundant for anything, but um, actually, you know, using it for its intended purpose. We can't really card draw with it. Or it's more, there's no point to card draw with it, rather. Easy. I, I can't believe how much of a turnaround I've... I have on um, on beam cannon, but that's the thing is beam cannon's just annoying when it's annoying when you are not building for it. It's nice when you're building around it. Like the downside is is fine. It's a zero cost tower that's pretty strong. I yes, I will take another scrap recycler. You better believe it. That goes so well with my deck. This run is basically what if none of your towers cost anything. The Blood Visions tech is so, so good, too. Look at this. Like, we have a board. Immediate board. I mean, shouldn't prematurely Ezna like that, but... Oh, we almost took our first actual hit. Like, we've taken damage, but we have not taken an actual hit. Get Virtuoso down. Electric Beam if we want it. Good. Who? Premonition. Put this back here for diminishing returns reasons. We have Dark Reckoning, which we're not really using that much. I'll tell you what. I have Esna. Who cares? Why did I do that? Man, I the change to Esna is breaking me because now I'm like, yeah, it's a, I love Esna. It's a great card draw spell. And then I think switch my brain to thinking, yeah, I love Esna. It's a great, you know, utility spell. It's both, but it's hard to switch my brain back and forth. I'm noticing we may be dangerously close to, uh, actually taking a hit. We have Blizzard here. Okay. Virtuoso. Don't mind if I do so. Spike Thrower. I wouldn't mind another Spike Thrower. Three Blood Visions. I know we lose all of our bits of Econ, but they don't really matter that much right now. Okay, there's our level three. The reason I wanted to do it is because I wanted to get my space back. Let's see. 
I'm gonna actually just drop another bullseye and walk away. Oops. Yeah? I like I see a world where we take damage here. It's not like I'm not hyper worried about it or anything, but I, I see it happening. I see it can happen. But yeah, this deck is feeling good. And I really love the new... Ooh. I love the new random deck. It feels... It feels workable. Like, this run today is strong. And I feel like I had a clear direction on how to get... Like, what should I do with my deck? How do I get there? And then there was a feasible... Uh, feasible understanding of... Uh, how likely it would be to get it to happen. Okay. This build is also nice with hijackers and stuff. Holy Mantle is busted, but also, man. Uh, well, okay. Well, there it is. Uh, now I have it. Now I've got you. Now we have Holy Mantle. Do we leak? Do we leak on purpose? No, we cast that on purpose. Wait, it blocks the it blocks instances of damage, so we got a heal of three. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, it's it's still it's good. That's good. I'm I'm not I'm not against that. We might take damage here though. No, I mean, we actually won't because Holy Mantle, but that would have been our first source of damage, and now we, we just didn't even have to deal with it. Beam Cannon. Beam, beam, beam Cannon. Beam, beam, beam Cannon. Is this going to be enough? Oops. Sorry, just trying to work with the hotkeys here. It's done. Good. Dark Reckoning. Cannon. Just add stuff for the hell of it. Get ourselves that extra card draw next turn. Thank you. Beam. Spike. Virtuoso. Blinding light. Blinding light and virtuoso. You know what? Yeah. Absolutely. There's only seven waves. I feel like I could run this three times speed and we'd probably be okay here. And I'm liking Bullseye more today than I usually do. That's another thing worth mentioning. Should I scrap Recycler? No, I, I don't really need to. I'm going to I'm going to win this regardless here. I don't want to lose extra money for no real reason. Good. I do like Blizzard. If I mean, I'll tell you what, if we I could see a version of this deck with Earthquake Blizzard working out, but I don't I don't need it. There's no real there's no point to do it right now. Blood Visions for sure. Again, there is a real argument for leaking turn like leaking this damage here. So if we leaked two here, then we could self wound, we'd take three damage. And then Blood Visions would cost one mana. There's a very real argument for that. Okay. Kind of just going to be taking up space until we can get that magic to happen, though. Kind of a bummer. I think I... Is it worth that overlap to... The missing overlap so that it speeds up? I think it is. It's one failed shot there, and then, yeah. 
eh. I think, I don't know. Mileage may, may, may vary. My, may marry. Mama may marry. Screw it. There's only seven waves. Let's just put down our big boys. So then we can put down our, all of our beam cannons. I think we can save on the scraps. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Where's our highest level thing? Beam can is probably the best thing there. Let's drop it there. Ooh. I don't know. Zero, zero costs. Like I thought they would be pretty good, but dang, I did not. I did not anticipate this. As enough for the road. Freebie. I definitely don't need. I. I no. No. Absolutely none of that. Uh. I have so much money. I actually want to go to the shop. Yeah. Another scrap? That's maybe too much. Enemies deal one less damage to you? Yeah. Remove a card? I Yeah, at this point... At this point, I gotta be honest. Sweet Vengeance would cost six. It's out of here. I'm tempted to take another scrap. Let's do it. It's, it's free. If I don't care about money, it's free. Gain max health. Upgrade a stat. Got three luck. Guys. We blit- Oh. Oh, mama. Oh, papa. We blitz in this. Boy. Okay, we got a level three. Level three or level two. Wow. Okay, so we want to adjust this. We got a level two immediately. Love it. Like it, love it, gotta have it. Spike thrower there. I'm going to blind light immediately don't, so I don't forget. Really? No crits, huh? Holy bully. That was some garbage. How stupid would it would be to sell bullseye and uh, virtuoso. <laughs> How on a scale of incredibly to yeah, no, it's stupid. That's a pretty bad idea. Cap. Rocket at two. Still taking no damage. No actual damage. From enemies. <laughs> there's there's some there's some real asterisks going on there, but you know what I mean. Alright, we can rock this. One of our beams being stopped is annoying. Scrap. 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 God, I love that. Ah! Filthy! Filthy, 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 filthy. Virtuoso, happy to have that. Spike thrower, happy to have that. Premonition, happy to have that. Do we need another one? Okay. Oh! Legend. I'm happy. I'm happy I put him down. Oh my god. Hero. Freaking hero. There you go. You get a, you get an upgrade. For working so hard. 
should be fine. Another scrap. There's our level 3 beam, which I would rather have upgraded, I'd say, there. Beam. Nice. 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 Three blood visions? Yeah, screw recon. And I'm honestly going to get rid of that so we don't draw it anymore. I'm sure it'll probably bite us in the butt, because of course it will. But yeah, just like, if we just took a little bit of damage, we could be casting Blood Visions every turn. Every turn. There's a real argument for leaking damage on purpose. So that we lose Holy Mantle. So that we can cast our spell. This is one of the, maybe one of the only runs that we will ever see that Holy Mantle might actually make our chances a little worse. <laughs> like... It reduces our chances of popping off at the very least, which, you know, we don't we don't always need to pop off, but it's fun to. It's fun to see the big boom. Okay, give me another scrap. Give me another... Is this, did we finally get a level... Nope, level two. Why have I never seen a level uh, three scrap today? Okay. That's why I saved. I wanted the blood visions. Two level three scrap recyclers. Because money, who cares about it, man? Ooh. Ooh, this could be bad. When he when he speeds up, he's gonna go. Whoa. That maybe looked decisive, but I promise you it was not. Trying to spend all my dang money. Really? Son of a gun made it. Son of a gun made it. Berserkers, always the ones, huh? Berserkers are just always the ones. He, he did it. He ruined my life. I noticed that this was in a, yeah, in a bad spot in the middle of that hullabaloo. Not more berserkers, huh? Should have done that with the last one. Draw an extra card each round, lose a luck. Obtain one more man every round. Enemies move 20% faster. Draw one more card each round, but start each combat with one mana less. I'll lose the luck. Absolutely not. We'll probably spend seven mana to upgrade a zero cost. It's a little bit of a tougher map. Be fine. Close. Do we, want, do we want a leak? If I leak, I'm gonna not. I'm not gonna touch it. Yeah. I'm actually kind of happy about that. I'm, I'm. I want to see this in action. Okay. Blood visions costing one. There we go. This maybe if, if you've been confused up to now why I've been saying it might be good. Hopefully hopefully it proves itself to be worthy right now and you'll and you'll understand and I was right. We may not notice the effects of it yet. 
because it's going to take a moment, but theoretically, I'm going to be drawing my entire hand every turn. An entire hand of cards every single turn. Almost. Ah, my deck is just a little bit too big for that. All right. All right. Oh, actually, if I get rid of that, that actually could do it, huh? Either way, I'm not worried. Oh, it's a Berserker. Of course it's a Berserker. It's always a Berserker. Okay. Well, we almost drew everything anyways. Scrap. We've got a level 3 scrap, just like that. Spike thrower. That'll be my cleanup crew guy. Now right, we don't need Ezna. All right. There we go. Now we get a Blood Visions every single turn for one mana. Okay. Premonition is now useless. Okay. Here's the thing. If we draw our whole deck... But everything is... Oh, there's a... That was a very quick level 3 beam cannon. Boy, shocking what uh, drawing your whole darn deck does for you. Huge. Blood Visions for free, basically. Okay. Keep it in case we want an electric beam. Oh, we should actually Esna something. Cool. Another scrap. Money's stupid. Who needs it? Not I. I will want it later, I'm sure. But for now, I do not care. Blood Visions. Okay. Should have... Eh, eh, doesn't matter if I Ezna. That's the thing. Is if I Blood Visions, it doesn't matter if I Ezna for value. It's irrelevant. It's a level 3 Spike Thrower, finally. Bullseye. Okay. Blood Visions. It's another level 3 Scrap. We're losing so much money, and I don't even care. I'm actually... I'm living for it. I'm trying to see how much money I can spend this run. Didn't we already cast Blood Visions this round? Okay. Mission. Another scrap. Another premonition. Yeah, we're drawing our entire deck because things are uh, getting exhausted. Ber it's always berserkers that almost make it through. No matter what I do. No matter what I do. I don't know if I cast that already or not. You know what? Man is stupid. Money stupid, mana stupid. Playing cards is cool. Uh, let's actually beam cannon, scrap recycler, or beam cannon. There's another level three beam cannon. This is bonkers. Did I already? I already blood visions, right? I think I already did blood visions, right? I don't know. Did you want to move? Sorry, did you want to... Sorry, did you want to move? That's not allowed. I have two... I have two level three beam cannons. I... It's not allowed. More money. More money loss. So, Scrap Re Recycler cannot draw itself because it draws before it... Never mind. Scrap Recycler can draw itself... Whoa! <laughs> okay. We are literally stun locking them. 
Start of combat, start with an extra spell mana. Okay. I, I mean, I can't, like, I mean, I can't, right? Also, what would it even really do? What would it do? I could infinite, oh my god, I could infinite play self-wound. Oh, that would be fun. That, that's a build I want to try for sure. I don't think it's, I don't think it's a today thing. I don't think it's a today thing. Hot take. Don't put anything else down. Let the leak happen. Okay. Are you going to... Okay. It's, it's only one. And so, oh, it's a level two, though. It shouldn't matter. It should block all of that. Okay. All right. Now, let the fun begin. It's not going to be... There's not going to be invisible way on this turn, right? That'd be silly. There we go. There's our blood visions for one. Virtuoso, we've won. We've won. We lost it. Like, when we lost our luck, I guess we did make our Virtuoso noticeably worse. It's worth thinking about. Shouldn't need to cast anything. Dark Reckoning can probably... I mean, Dark Reckoning can definitely go. <laughs> Don't know why I was about to say probably. It, it does not need to be here. Oh. You son of a gun. You son of a gun. By gum, he did it. He did it. He made himself useful. The last gasp for relevancy. I think we might need to um, place our units, place our towers better. I think we might actually have to be intentional with it. Bleh. I thought I already blood visions this turn, but I'm going to do it because I'm not sure. And I'm going to just drop that down. Sure. Maybe we shouldn't have done that. We're not gonna. We can't blood visions now. Okay. Huge. Big get. Okay. Blood visions. That's the one to play. I kind of. I kind of miss my econ. I'm going to I'm going to be honest. It actually makes more of a difference here today than I would want to admit. It's going to take so long to get back to being able to econ though that I almost think we have to just say at this point screw it and see what happens. Just get all of our zero costs out and max ranked. Premonition is kind of dead weight in our deck right now as well. Dark Reckoning, Premonition, they are they are useless today. Okay, there's a three star of that. Premonition, did we blow vision? I don't think so. I can't use my spells here. Okay, good. We needed to get him before Diminishing Returns wore off there. Otherwise, we were going to have a bad time. Oh, boy. We drew Bremonition. Bremonition again. <laughs> I think we're going to be fine. 
But yeah, you can actually see why Econ would does make a difference with this deck, even though it feels theoretically like it wouldn't. Because we can only play a very small amount of things. Okay. Bye! Okay, now, now we save it for a spell. Okay. Always berserkers. Whew! Wrecked! Restore four health to start a bosses. Definitely no to all that. Oh no, I'm slow. That is so, that was so ideal. Blood vision self You know, you know, it's fine. <laughs> it's you know it's fine. You know it's fine. We didn't need to, you know. It's fine. It's still it's still broken. Still all Birkin. We might take this damage unless we... Do we want a Virtuoso? I know it's redundant, really. Like, we don't need to do this. Does it really make a lot of sense to care? But for Honor's sake, I didn't want to take that damage. And Honor is important. Alright, now let's let this Econ happen. Okay. The song is so bumping. And if we leak, if we leak, then Blood Visions becomes free. So, like, I'm really not too mad about it. But yeah, we want to make sure we do not go under four here and really start to... More, we just don't want to roll all the way down. Like, we, we want to just make sure we keep on getting to cast Virtuosos. That's the big thing. Did I already Blood Visions this turn? God, what a, what a weird suffering from success problem. It's also irrelevant because this is so short. Did I already play my card that makes me draw my entire hand? I can't recall. And again, I know we don't need to be placing all these scrap recyclers, but it is funny to me. So I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. We, yeah, sure. Doesn't matter. Ooh! That would be a disaster. I will blood visions right away. Premonitions. Oh, no. Ah, God. Curse my slow hands. Oh, can we, like... Can we do this? No, but it doesn't really matter. Okay. Beam. Oops, beam. We want these ones on the edge. The blinding light. It exhausts the card. It makes it easier to draw my stuff, too. So. Eight waves. Yes. Yes! Now it's free! It's free! Oops. Now we can draw every card. We can draw every card in our deck. Uh, every turn, effectively. Almost. 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 We need to level up one more thing. But yeah, now our mana is just going to keep on scaling because Blood Visions doesn't cost anything. Okay, we actively really don't want to draw Blood Visions. Good. 
good. Look at that mana climb. Look at that mana climb. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm happy with this. This, like... Scrap Recyclers... Proving to be kind of, uh, Omega Borkin. And by that, I mean entirely, 100%, obviously, Omega Borkin. Alright, wave 8. Just send it. Just send it. Okay. I know it janks it a little bit, but, uh, yeah, let's just go fight the Elite. Let's just go win. Um, hmm. should put down the beam cannons. Anywho, let's see here. We ideally we want to kill. No, we actually don't want to kill these. Because he's going to. There we go. Good. Scrap recycler, scrap recycler, beam cannon. There we go. Wounds. Blood Visions, Meme Dream come true. Da, 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 da. And we get to save our spell mana too, so we can cast Blizzard. We're about to pop off. Beam Cannon, Beam Cannon, Spike Thrower, Beam Cannon, Scrap Recycler, Blinding Light, Premonition, Bullseye, Virtuoso, because I can. Scrap Recycler, Scrap Recycler, Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, Self Wound. Virtuoso, Beam Cannon, Spike Thrower. This is filthy! Blood Visions, Beam Cannon, Beam Cannon, Beam Cannon. Okay. I think I think that was a necessary spell. Beam Cannon, or Scrap Recycler, Scrap Recycler, Scrap Recycler, Blood Visions, Beam Cannon, Beam Cannon. Virtuoso Bullseye. Yeah, now we can actually even... Look at that. We've got it fixed up so we can even slap in Bullseyes. Beam Cannon. Spike Thrower. Premonition. Beam Cannon. <laughs> oh, God. And I didn't want to draw another one of those, but hey, we did. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. We're at the point where we actually draw our whole deck, I think. Or nearly do. If we level three our Virtuoso, we're golden. For that. We'll have a thinner deck. Okay. Just keep on going. This is silly. This is so silly. Beam cannon. I can't even figure out where to drop anything anymore. Virtuoso. Dark Reckoning. Sure. Why not? We have the mana for it. Who cares? Boom. Yeah, this is... Like, Scrap Recycler is so much more powerful than anything that um, money would buy you. Having a thin, cheap deck with Scrap Recycler. So much better than you would, than anything else you'd want. Was that a level four? I think that was a level four. What the hell? Okay. It's not. Boom, boom. Yep. We're about to be at the point where we've pretty much got everything in our deck that we have in our hand at all times. Man. Beam cannon. When you when you get one when you don't want it, problematic. When you can account for it and build around it, problematic for the enemies. Berserkers are always a little rough though, so we gotta be ready for that. 5% max health damage to all enemies every time an enemy dies. I Wow. How the hell do I have a hundred bucks? 
How the hell do I even have a hundred bucks? I'm buying an inhibitor. And I'm going to replace my Dark Reckoning as a result. Okay. Saboteur. Okay. Again, we, we really would... I would like to take hits from two enemies. How do I... How do I take a hit from two enemies? Here we go. Wait. I don't know how to take a hit from only two enemies. It's fine. What if I told you it doesn't really matter? Because now Blood Visions is free! All right. All right, all right. Beam cannon level two. Spike throw on the edge. I would love to blinding light, but I'm not going to do it this moment. We may take damage right here. I got to make that clear. Like, that could happen. It did not. Okay. An inhibitor is just so good. With the amount of beam cannon spam we have, inhibitor was the correct play. Definitely blinding lights. Scrap. Beam. I love just drawing an entire level two beam there. Okay. That AOE max health deal is also nice. Another inhibitor. I've been curious about the inhibitor. Hmm. Spike. Yet another beam. Scrap. Bang. Inhibitor. Premo. I mean, they seem like they get stunned a hell of a long time. Virtuoso. Yeah, we've won. We've, we've, we've absolutely, unbelievably, and entirely, and destructively won. Beam. Beam. Again, I love just drawing a level 2 beam. There we go. There's another beam cannon. Level 3 this time. More inhibitor. I feel like we might be able to stunlock. Like, like, maybe literally. Perchance, not just figuratively. at level three. Okay. And we have all the money to do anything we want here. Well, not really. Okay. Stop if you heard this one before. Just play all of the cards that you have on the edge of the map. Premonition. Another inhibitor. Man couldn't move. Man was never going to move. Okay. The beam cannon there. Spike thrower. Level 2 still. Okay. 
Do you want my Virtuoso to level up? The Bullseye, I'm a little bit less excited by. Ooh, he almost made it through. He went through the sneaky uh, down, down spot there. Uh, da, 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 da. Three level three beam cannons. Pretty good. Pretty good. Does, can, can, can it move? Like, have I literally made it so it's impossible for it to move? Can the boss do anything? Should I feel bad? Oh, sh I messed that up. Sure did, sure did. Should I feel bad? The, the issue is with multiple groups of, or like multiple stacks of enemies, it does still get a little confused. And it focuses down one until it's dead, you know? So, can be good, can be bad. Like, those groups that have high a high HP enemy and a bunch of low HP enemies are going to be our worst case scenario. Okay. Bump, 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 bump. Beam. Another beam. Just keep it coming. Oh my god, it took so long for them to be able to move. I love it. I feel almost a little bad. Almost. But I don't. I tried to draw a card when I didn't have one. Bad ordering there. Oh, that's rough. They hit their diminishing returns by the time they get up there. These are actually not working that well for us. So silly. All right, we got our spells. Should we need them? Should we desire them? This is weird. I don't know what to do with that. Because, yeah, it stops them right there when we don't really want them to be stopped. Spooky inventory. All right, now we just cast spells. I like that. I feel like we are being uh, hamstrung a hair by... Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. But the fact that we have a bunch of enemies that shoot tiny shots or a bunch of allies that shoot tiny shots towers even because I think that we're being hamstrung by the um, armor cap or something all right here it is here's the big moment every five seconds disable two random towers for five seconds We want to wait a sec. Oh. When do I Esna? Right now. Electric beam. As soon as he's moving, blizzard. He literally couldn't move. Oh my. I stun locked the boss. That felt good. That felt good. That was a deck 
construction victory <laughs> more than anything else. That felt good. We got a, a rare plus one max or plus one health regeneration minus one max health. That's very worth doing. Wait. Yeah, very worth doing. Uh, new ever-changing deck is so much better. So much better. Uh, three starting mana might have been too much. I mean, like I said, I su the change I suggested was ten random cards and a random trinket. And it was kind of like met halfway in the middle. So Twelve random cards and a random trinket. But also, just every single stat got a range buff. Like, either the lower part of the range got moved up a little bit, but all like pretty much all of the max range got moved up. And again, the fact that it starts with three mana is really good. Really good. Very fun deck. Uh, absurdly strong now. Well, but the thing is, it's random. You maybe, like, we could get trash. We got lucky to, to find good ways to remove cards quickly. We found, we basically, I looked at my deck. I said, this aspect is what sucks about this deck. This is what we will not be able to cast. We do not have the things to make this, that. Uh, and then I saw the pathway to make a zero cost deck function. I, I did. And then I made it happen. And then I saw the uh, the way to abuse the four mana cost draw all your cards spell. And yeah, I, I'd say that that is a crazy build. Blood Visions is probably too strong. I would say Blood Visions needs at the very least like a max mana cost increase. Or a max, yeah, a starting mana cost increase because it. But the thing is, it's weird because then you're kind of locking things into martyr, like you have to have a martyr build to use a martyr card. I don't know. It, it's it's a little bit. Uh, it, it's tough. It's tough to figure it out. But it's very good. This deck was very strong. Alas, that is that. That's gonna do it for today for Tower Tactics Liberation. If you'd be sad to see the series go, you gotta let me know. So comment down below. Thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.